Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Shai. I want to give double honor to the apostles of great mercy who do rule well. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect. This is your brother Makaza out here in Trinidad, just another edification for the elect's sake. And the name of this lesson would be He Came to Fulfill. Alright, He Came to Fulfill. Because, you know, pertaining to these church goers, what they say is that the Lord, He came and He changed everything up. He did away with all the ancient customs, all the ordinances. And that is why we have the New Testament because, you know, all those things were for people back then and this is for people now. Guess what? When the Lord was on the earth, he was speaking from the Old Testament. Right? The New Testament or the, the, the book that you call the New Testament, it didn't exist. Alright? Matter of fact, most of these books were written about 30 plus years after the Lord resurrected. All right, and on top of that, that was still roughly two thousand years ago. So that the New Testament then therefore should be for people back in that time and not for us, if that is the case. All right, the Lord Yahweh Shai, the one you ignorantly call Jesus, he never came to do away with the ordinances. He didn't do that. The only thing the Lord did was put an end to sacrificing for sin because he was the ultimate sacrifice that is why the scripture said this dead man this that this this man did once all right when he offered up himself all right this is matthew chapter 5 and verse 17 it says think not that i am come to destroy the law or the prophets i am not come to destroy but to fulfill you see you see he said fulfill. He said fulfill. Means that what? He fulfilled everything. So he done away now. This is what he going to say. He says what? For verily I say unto you. Till heaven and earth pass. One jot or one tittle. Shall in no wise pass from the law. Till all be fulfilled. Right? And what he mean by fulfilled? Right? Because a lot of you people, you don't understand what the word fulfill means. It means to bring to pass. This is Luke chapter 22. Luke chapter 24, my bad. Luke chapter 24 and verse 44. It says, And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the psalm concerning him. Means the prophecies have to fulfill. He came to fulfill the prophecies. Isaiah chapter 53. All right? And guess what? He come in to fulfill again. Isaiah chapter 66 and 15. All right? The Lord come in. He came to fulfill back then. He came to fulfill again because prophecies. If the Lord did away with the Old Testament, then guess what? There ain't gonna be no salvation because the salvation was spoken of in the Old Testament. So then, therefore, those prophecies done away with. Because you said the Lord came to do away with the old customs and the, and the Old Testament, which is not true. All right, that is not scriptural. It is not scripturally sound. That is a weird doctrine. All right. That is people just wanting to live off their own lusts, want to do whatever they want because the laws, you know, written in the Old Testament. So if they could convince others that, you know, that the laws done away with, then they could they they justify to do whatever they want. But it is not so. The Lord never did away with the laws, nor the ancient customs. I heard one person said that when the Lord came, he did away with you know all not only all sin but also you know the things that the ancient people did that would be considered taboo in these modern times which that is not true what you people need to do you people need to stop associating the scriptures with emotions don't put the two together you can't try to understand the ancient customs with a modern mindset even when you look at the people in the east they still have that ancient mindset they still have the ancient customs all right, you people don't stray from the way. That is why the Lord said you would discontinue from your heritage. All right, you would discontinue from your heritage. He didn't change not. What did the Lord change? All right, what did the Lord change? What did Yahabah Hashem Shai change? All right, 
as the topic says he came to fulfill this is luke chapter 4 and verse 17 and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. and when he had opened the book he found the place where it was written the spirit of the lord was upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he had sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance on um, to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised to preach the acceptable year of the lord it says and he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down and the eyes of all that were in the synagogue were fastened on him and he began to say unto them this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears we just read it in luke chapter 24 and 44 he's speaking he thinks that within the law of moses and the psalms and in the prophets concerning him so yahweh came to fulfill the prophecies all right he came to fulfill the prophecies that were spoken about him deuteronomy chapter 18 that prophet it was spoken from the scripture talk about shiloh coming all right the all the lord did was come to fulfill the prophecies zachariah when he says um thy lord cometh lowly riding upon an ass's colt didn't the lord do that in jerusalem you people call it palm sunday all right he came to fulfill the script the prophecies about him he didn't come fulfill don't means to do away with the lord yahabah shimei didn't do away with the ancient customs he said i lord i change not malachi 3 and 6 he says he change not all right and that is the reason why a lot of you people will never come to the understanding of this word all right because you believe that these that the scriptures in the old testament they're not valid all right this is acts 26 and verse 22 it says having therefore obtained help from yahweh i continue unto this day witnessing both to small and great saying none other things than those which the prophets and moses did say should come so just like Yahweh Shai came to fulfill, we out here prophesying and heralding the coming of the Lord, speaking only of the prophecies that were written, not our own words. Speaking of the things to come. The things to come are the prophecies. That is where Yahweh Shai came to fulfill. The prophecies that were written about him. All right, Isaiah chapter 7 and 14, the favorite for you Christians. A virgin shall bring forth a child. And that word virgin what meant a young woman. And that is why Matthew quoted it. Yahweh Shai fulfilled that also. It was talking about um, Isaiah's son. But, you know, twofold it was talking about Yahweh Shai. Isaiah, uh, Isaiah, Hosea chapter 11. When Israel was a child, I loved him and called my son out of Egypt. All right? Yahweh Shai fulfilled that, that precept also, that prophecy. That is what he came to do. He came to fulfill. He didn't come to change anything. He came to fulfill all right he came to fulfill this is second john verse six it says and this is love that we walk after his commandments and his commandments this um we walk after his commandments this is the commandments that you have heard from the beginning you should walk in it all right it says that you should walk in it this is the commandment that you have heard from the beginning that you should walk in it it says, for many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Yahweh is coming to the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. All right? So it says many deceivers are gone into the world, teaching things where they ought not. All right? As the scripture said, for filthy lucre's sake, teaching things they ought not. All right? And, you know, in, in these last days, guess what? If you can't see Christianity as a joke, then guess what? I don't know. I don't know where where your mind at. Cause a lot of you people you differ in Christianity and you you do no research. You don't even read the Bible. You might just listen to somebody quote some scriptures and you mem you memorize where those scriptures are so you can pull it out. But as the scripture says, ever learning and never coming to the knowledge of the truth. And that is you Christians. All right, that is you Christians. The final precept here. This is Hebrews chapter thirteen. And verse 8, it says, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, 
the same yesterday today and forever he ain't changing he's the same yesterday today and forever he never came to change nothing all right he didn't do away with the customs with the laws he didn't do that all he did was make himself the sacrifice because the scripture said the blood of bulls could not take away sins so yeah they, that was just you know a forerunner for yahweh shai to to to, to show that yahweh shai would be the lamb of yahweh the ultimate sacrifice all right verse 9 it says be not carried away with diverse and strange doctrines which is a good um for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace all right grace means what this word all right that is why the apostles always say don't go listening all these other doctrines and all these other groups wherever the case is especially a new man coming in it says and not with meats it says which have not profited them that have been accompanied therewith it's not gonna profit them all right it's not gonna profit them because guess what the word mix means to confuse confusion it causes confusion that is, that is where you causing confusion and guess what evidently if you if that is where you're running with you can follow the truth if you living in that confused state but for the christians they never gonna get this because guess what they believe all the way what doctrine in the world they believe that except the truth and they will see the truth they will see precept upon precept they will see you know um history science everything everything that shows that hey this is what the bible says and they will just believe in their fairy tales they will believe in this fairy tales the scriptures said the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand all right and so with that i want to give all praises honor and glory to yahaba shimei oshai i want to give double honor to the apostles of great mercy and do rule well salutation to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect this is brother makazah saying shalom and stay strong shalom